His weight in this fight, do you want to lower him down still, or is there like an ideal sweet spot you want to have him at for this fight? It's about performance, you know. His, his weight for the last fight wasn't bad, but um, with time, he's taking time and rest for his body to tighten back up and get used to being at that weight, strengthen up at that weight. And we're definitely seeing that now, and I think you can see it in there. Given you've had all this time now to prepare for a Deontay Wilder, you know his ins and outs, ins and outs very well. What have you learned from Deontay Wilder studying all this tape about this fight? I've learned that he's still a progressive fighter. He's still learning. He doesn't think he knows it all. He's still keen to learn and improve. So that makes it a harder task, you know. He, uh, Throughout his fights, he's shown little different aspects of his game, and um, you know, before he'd, he'd, he'd forced things a little bit, looking for his power and uh, trying to force things that weren't there. But uh, he's developed his boxing skills, and he's more comfortable sitting behind his boxing skills. It makes it a lot harder because mistakes then leave gaps for him to, 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 for him to uh, make the most of his power. When you're forcing it, especially against top-level fighters like all season Tyson, you get made to pay for them. So he's definitely improving, and um, it'll be a, even better than the Ortiz fight going into this fight. So it makes it a tougher task. So what type of performance are you going to see from Tyson, or are you hoping to see from Tyson on that December 1st? A perfect performance. It's got to be a perfect performance. Anything less won't do. Um, it'll be a masterclass display. Um, we've got, you know, you have to. Have, you can't just go in there with one game plan. We've got number number of game plans depending on how Wilder brings it. Um, you know, obviously the best thing for us is if Deontay comes out looking for that big one because that's Tyson's game. You know, we're going to make him miss and make him pay. Um, but I know that he's he's more clever than that. He's going to sit behind the boxing, look to set things up, and uh, it's going to be a good it's going to be a good fight, a very good fight. And either fighter can't make too many mistakes because at this level you get made to pay for. Do you think this win, if he does win, would be the most important one of his career? Are you seeing it like that? My honest opinion, and it yeah. might be biased. My honest opinion is it'll be the biggest win in world boxing ever, ever. ever. Yeah, because I know where he come from. You know, talking about it now. You know, it's a big uh, Yeah, it plane. makes me emotional, you know, because when, when I, I remember sitting in his house when I moved in with him, I'd look across the sofa and thought to myself, this job can't be done. I don't know if it can be done. And I looked at him and I, and I thought, if I just get this man back happy, job well done. And uh, to get to here today, I'm, you know, that's my biggest achievement, to get him back here today and in the position that he's in and the, enjoying life again. Do you think Joshua fight will happen if he is victorious? Hopefully, I think it will. I think Joshua, Joshua wants to fight. Obviously, there's a... Uh, other people on board that um, have their say and uh, you know have to make the right business moves, etc. Um, but hopefully that fight can be, can get done. It's what boxing needs. I know fans are going to be looking at this and they're going to be split either way. They're going to think Joshua has the edge in that fight or Fury has the edge of that fight. How do you see that potential fight? In what fight? Sorry. Fury and Joshua. Fury and Joshua. I see it. That, listen, I think Anthony Joshua is a very very good fighter and he's done fantastically well. Um, I just think. That his style is tailor made for Tyson. How? I hear that a lot. Like, how is his style? To He's, it be, I'm not going to go into too many details because it obviously gives things away. But uh, he's, he, what he does and his unconscious competent moves and the way he's been taught to box is tailor made for Tyson. His stature, his size, his weight, everything is perfect for Tyson. All right, Ben. Hey, as always, great chatting with you. Thank, Thank you so much, and we'll check in back with you at camp. Definitely. Thank you, Ben. Quick, quickly, you said that the best heavyweight in the world is Tyson. Second best is Deontay Wilder. Who's number three? Anthony Joshua. For sure? Anthony Joshua. I think you've got to give it to him on um, on his resume. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's beat some good men. It was a good win out last time against the Vecchio. When he looked like he was going for a sticky patch, he dug down, built on his gum shoe and got the job done. Uh, he's, uh, he's obviously the second longest reigning champion. Um, so he's, uh, you know, he's off, and he's selling out stadiums and that. You got to give the man credit. He's, uh, he's a very, very, very good fighter. With, I guess, kind of this fight's going to happen in December. Wilder Joshua, if that were to have were ever to happen, how do you see that fight playing out? I think it's a very tough fight for Anthony Joshua. Very tough fight. Yeah. But listen, it's all about game plans at the end of the day. Anthony mm -hmm. Joshua. Anthony Joshua will take any man out in world boxing mm -hmm. because he's, he's very strong, he's determined, he's young, game, got balls like King Kong, and can punch. Mm -hmm. So he has the ability to take big men out. It's all about game plans and getting the fights at the right time. And uh, just quickly, when you guys were hitting the pads, Tyson was taking little water breaks. Is that like normal? That's kind of how you guys. No, only for a little meeting oh. workout. You know, this this is just for show. You know, it's not it's not uh, it's not a workout that we do. Um, 
It's, uh, it's it seemed hard to me. Yeah. yeah literally just for show. We're not gonna we're not gonna go and give a full workout to the media today. Right. You know, so uh, it's just a little bit. Little show the cameras a few bits, and that was right. it. No, it was it was good to see. Thank you, man. I no appreciate problem. your time. Yeah, for sure. No problem.